So I'll show you a very brief um, example uh, of how this is playing out. This is the case of a patient, Ms. Yamaro. This is a young patient being diagnosed with lung cancer. And we, the data is downloaded from the electronic medical record. And this is a patient that has a diagnosis of lung cancer and has a number of key points by CAT scan, the imaging. And Watson does its first round of analysis with the data that that the medical record is providing. And it's telling us what you have today from this patient is insufficient to make the right decision. And it's telling this on the left side. But if you have to make a decision, because sometimes in medicine you need to make decisions what you have, these are the options. And this is our level of confidence based on our physician's experience that the machine has been learning. But the machine is telling us we would you should consider doing this molecular uh, analysis because this is a lung cancer in a non-smoker from Asian descent, and these tumors have mutations that, uh, the, uh, that are important for the right choice of therapy. So we do that. We follow the advice of Watson. We don't have to, but we do. And sure enough, Watson had a feeling about that uh, because we find a mutation on the EGF receptor. So here we go. We have a mutation that could direct therapy. So we go to our guidelines, and the ones that we use uh, across the country are um, from the uh, network of cancer centers called NCCN. And in the guidelines, it's very clear. It says if you have a tumor with an EGFR mutation, you should consider a therapy with a very specific and exciting therapy called erlotinib. And that's what we would do. I would do that. I would propose that. Yet, there is a paper, and this is a true story, that has been published recently that shows that of all the mutations in the EGF receptor, there is one that does not respond to this therapy. One. There are only about 10 physicians in the world, maybe less, that would know this offhand. I'm telling you, we have 1,000 physicians at Memorial Sloan Catering, and at most, uh, uh, two or three know this. And I am being very, um, uh, I, I am being, I'm boasting this because that means that we have 30% of the world knowledge. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but only two or three uh, uh, would have that information. So based on this, Watson is telling us, do not give this patient erlotinib. Offer this patient conventional chemotherapy. And this is what it was done. Do you think this was a difficult case? You probably think it's a difficult case, right? This is easy. We are dealing with much more complex decisions to make every day uh, in our clinical practice. So this is why we are so terribly excited about this partnership. And that's why we are devoting so much time. We believe in it. And we um, feel strongly that this will change the way healthcare is being delivered. It's about integrating data. It's about integrating knowledge. And it's about creating wisdom together uh, between IBM Watson and our physicians. Thank you very much.